It's gonna be an exciting week. So much to do, so little time. It's kind of my first week as a real estate agent. My sister is graduating. We're going to Vancouver Island together and filming this video the whole time, of course. I make it seem a lot simpler than it is sometimes. Sometimes it's actually kind of stressful, but that's not what you're here for. You're not here to hear about my problems. So we are starting off this vlog with an open house in North Vancouver, a nice house that we're gonna go check out. I haven't seen it yet, but we're gonna go help another agent kind of run the open house. And I'm mainly going just to learn like the best practices and how to host the most efficient open house. So in the meantime, everyone wants to see a nice open house tour, so I will show you. So I got asked the other day if I wanted to check out the first pod hotel in the greater Vancouver area, and I'd never seen one before. I've never stayed in one, so I kind of did want to check it out. Pod hotels are where you get like one room, one pod. For example, if you were moving to Vancouver, but you didn't have an apartment lined up yet, this could be a thing that you stay at for a certain amount of time while you look for an apartment. Because hotels here, just like everything here, are quite expensive. My tire is almost flat. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. I, uh, I should do something about that. I am now outside of the PandaPod Hotel, as you can see. And I do wanna let you know this video is sponsored by PandaPod, but speaking out of honesty, this is probably the most efficient way to stay in Vancouver. We're gonna do a little self-guided tour, but just for reference, you can stay here for $70 a night around that, which is a lot better than the average of 220 a night for Vancouver. And this is their entryway, very welcoming and bright. And down here are the pods. Here are the individual pods, as you can see, and inside, Yep, I already see them. They have these little desks I saw online. So if you wanted to work, you could get some work done. The hotel is a 15 minute drive from the airport and a few minute walk from the closest SkyTrain. So you can get around pretty easily. And this place is also a great resource if you have family coming over, but you don't have room for them to stay, or maybe you're renovating your house and you need somewhere to stay for a week. It's a good place for that. I'll also mention that Service Canada is close by. I think it's like 10 minutes away. So if you need help getting PR and you just moved here, it's pretty close by. And that also goes for Work BC. That's pretty close by. So if you move here, need help getting a job, that's what they do. So if you're someone looking for an affordable way to stay in or travel Vancouver, this could be the place. All of PandaPod's links and info will be in the description of this video. Let's go. Honk. The other thing I'm working on today is the thumbnail for the most recent video before this one. There's kind of like two main types of thumbnails. There's ones where people, you know, edit stuff together to make a thumbnail, or they take like a screen cap of something going on in the video and kind of just use that. And it's very like raw and simple, but it shows you a glimpse into the video. If you ever comment on one of my videos, let it be this one, because I want to know what you prefer. Edited thumbnails where people put stuff together and there's text, you know, kind of like one of mine, or one like Shelby Church's like this, or one that's like a screen cap, like, Jed Cal, which one do you actually prefer? I, I wanna know. I actually think I wanna bring someone on to do thumbnails in this style, so if that's you, send me a DM on Instagram because I think I make good thumbnails, but I'm not fast at it, I'll tell you that. Now that it is summer, there's tons of organized things going on in Vancouver, like next week in Kitsilano on West 4th Avenue, there's a street party and they close the road and people can walk by all the little pop-up shops and stuff like that. But this week there's boat races going on, which I'm researching about, dragon boat races and food trucks. So Casey and I are gonna go check it out. I'm not really a big avid dragon boat racer myself, but if people are organizing these things, I wanna go check them out. So she's on her way over right now and I don't know what to expect, so I'm just searching it up. This is what we're looking at, some dragon boats. Was I expecting some boats that actually look like dragons? Maybe. Am I embarrassed to tell you that? Maybe. I just got home and I'm leaving like immediately for a meeting with a mortgage broker. Cause in the real estate industry, you have to know mortgage brokers. You kind of have to know someone for everything because people will ask you for help. So you want to know people. So you want to meet people. So I'm going to meet this guy. First impressions are everything. So I will not wear my pink shorts. Not that there's anything wrong with pink shorts. They're just not business attire.
Of course, for questions that I can't answer about mortgages, you gotta have someone to be able to ask, so. Cactus Club, it is. Being in the industry for a couple months, learning people, learning what they like, Cactus Club is high on the list. Today we are also leaving for Vancouver Island for just one night because my sister is graduating Vancouver Island University and I'm gonna be the designated photo and video guy. That's one thing about having a YouTube channel and making videos, people want you to video stuff. So throughout the graduation day and the ceremony, I'm gonna record a bunch of footage of her and her friends so they all have a video to look back on in five years of their memories of, you know, the final moments they all spent together. And it's getting hot here in Vancouver now, like 25 degrees. Usually on the island it's even hotter, so we're gonna see how it goes. So we just got to Nanaimo, this is the Airbnb. I'll give you an Airbnb tour in a second because I know that that's what I'd care about if someone was checking out an Airbnb. And I'm not gonna vlog throughout the day, of course, because like this day is not about me, it's about, you know, my sister, of course. But before we go, since no one's here, I'm gonna give you a quick Airbnb tour. So starting at the front, don't, don't look, no sneak peeks. So you come up these stairs from the ground level, then bathroom right here on the side. By the way, this place rents for $143 a night. I think it is. Two bed, one bath place right here first bedroom a double maybe it's not quite a queen the size and then the living room behind me right here pretty nice the kitchen the kitchen works you know it's not super modern but it doesn't really have to be some furniture that looks nice not super high quality stuff but it does the job and it's good if you're the Airbnb owner to have like you know cheaper stuff and I say that because over here they have this lamp I know this lamp is not expensive because I have it and I did not spend much money on it because I had no no money when I was furnishing my apartment what's nice is what's this behind me they have AC not super common in Vancouver unless you're in a newer building we're not in Vancouver but I'm just saying it's not common there it's not common here either so that's nice but that's the place pretty much oh the primary bedroom full king bed this bed is actually massive nice closet big windows that is pretty much the place so we're gonna get going and I'm gonna make this video for her I'll probably throw a couple clips in here but it won't be too much of this video next day, Wednesday today, and I'm going to get a haircut. I used to be the person getting a haircut every few months, but you know, having like clean lines and just looking well kept, it looks like you're on top of stuff, it just does. So I'm going to blank space to see my barber grow, and he is in downtown Vancouver, so it's a little bit of a trek, but like, I mean, that's just how you know someone gives a good haircut, is that I'm willing to travel and pay for parking. I'll put his ad on the screen, you can like book with him through Instagram as well. And we all know when you look good, you feel good, so I'm all about feeling good, so I'm gonna go do that. I forgot to pay for parking, so I'm out here in my Louis Vuitton cape. Thank you, Joe. I'm not stealing it. I gotta pay for parking, though. Now that I got my hair cut, back home, and today, the rest of the day is a little behind the scenes day, a little bit of admin stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a little bit. Behind the scenes day. Yay! Today I'm just trying to strategize a little bit. You know with YouTube, I know some people who were YouTubers and then they started making TikToks or Instagram Reels and then those like started making them more money than their YouTube channels or it, it pretty much just like blew them up. You guys know Joe Lee, most likely, another Vancouver lifestyle creator, vlogger. He showed me how his like YouTube shorts and his TikToks do and his Reels and it's just crazy how much they help him and they help him grow. And maybe my content isn't the perfect type of content 
content for like shorts and stuff like that, but I'm still gonna try. So in the last little while, I've been trying to make more short form content and repurpose some of my content for short form. You've probably seen I've posted a couple shorts, a couple reels on TikTok and stuff like that. If you wanna follow me on those platforms too, it's your choice. I'll leave them linked below just in case, just in case. And it mainly comes down to if you pitch to a brand, hey, let's do a thousand dollar brand deal. And then you can be like, well, I also have a package that's my TikTok for 2000 or and an and Instagram reel for 3000. So you can just multiply what you can create and kind of how much you can make. Not that it's all about money. Okay. It's not. I'm just saying it's a business and I'm a business man. So now every time I record a video, I have to like shoot the video for horizontal, like for the YouTube thing. And then I grab my phone and I'm like, okay, time to do the vertical one. So I shoot everything a second time. So then I have to send all my footage two times, record everything twice and kind of edit everything twice. But if we're out here making twice the profit, then that is still stonks. Okay, still stonks. And in a little bit, we're going to volleyball. That's right, I joined a volleyball league. But before I go, I wanted to mention if you wanna see just a Vancouver casual vlog, my most casual chill vlog, probably my last one. I'm gonna link it below and up here. It didn't perform that well, which is okay. You know, not every video can do better than the last video, but I thought it was a good one. So it was a little sad when I saw those results, but you know what, that's okay. YouTube has ups and downs. Everything has ups and downs. Anyways, so I joined this volleyball league to make friends pretty much. And because I like volleyball. I think in the last week in the life video that I did, I was joining a soccer league and I ended up making a couple friends on that team who then started playing volleyball. Anyways, the point is, I joined this volleyball team knowing one person and now I have like 10, 15 new friends just from the team and they're all like super great people. And it just reminded me of how lots of people say it's hard to make friends in Vancouver and it is unless you put yourself out there. People will not come up to you on the street and be like, hey, do you wanna be friends? But if you join some recreational thing like this, people are going cause they wanna make friends. So you're gonna find other people who are open to those type of things. So our team was actually so good. We were 12 and one that the league themselves decided we gotta move these guys up. So they moved us to the intermediate advanced league. And after that, we lost like eight games in a row. So now we're 0 and 8. It's still fun, even though they kind of scammed us. But I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. Ooh.